Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie from Stephanie Con Fitness and this is your day 21 yoga practice for our 30 day yoga challenge. Today we're gonna be focusing on some low back strengthening poses so that we can really help to build a strong, stable core. Now, if you're experiencing acute back pain, this might not be the practice for you, but we're gonna take this slowly and gently as we move through this practice. So if your low back is a little bit sensitive, I don't want you to push past the point of pain. We're really just going to be focusing in on that lengthening and gentle strengthening for the low back. Now, if you've been enjoying this 30 day yoga challenge, please make sure that you go ahead and hit that like button on this video, and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe because it really helps me bring free content to you and help other people find some of this stuff on YouTube as well. So I would really appreciate it if you haven't done so already. Let's get started with this low back strengthening practice. We'll begin our practice today on all fours. So gently coming onto all fours, balancing our shoulders over the crease line of the wrists, and our hips are gonna come right over the knees. Now I want you to draw your low belly in as we ease the shoulders down and away, and gently apply a little bit of pressure into the palm of each hand so that we're stable and strong and supported here instead of just collapsing into this posture. So really be active and strong, even though it looks like we're just hanging out here on all fours. Now with that gentle activation, we'll inhale, lengthening up through the tailbone, tipping the pelvis forward, expanding the chest. Now as we exhale, tucking the tail, almost imagine like you're tucking that tailbone down between your knees, scoop your belly, rounding your back. So let's try that again. Inhale, lengthen, lift, stretch, extend. As we exhale, we tuck and round. So we're just warming up here through the low back, linking the movement of the body into the rhythm of the breath. Let's go ahead and do that one more time with the breath. Nice and easy. And making our way back to center. From here, we'll come down onto our belly. So gently lowering yourself down. Take a moment to level off your pelvis. So we want to that we're not tucking the tailbone so much and really gripping with the glutes so that we're um, coming out of the same time we want to make sure we're not overarching the back so gently engaging through those deep Floating up. Your neck nice. And in your chest today, so that we're keeping. drawing in slightly as we float up to walk your hands about chest level release here
Now bringing ourselves back into our neutral head and neck position. Let's tuck our elbows in so that we can evenly place each palm onto the floor. Now we're gonna energize out through the toes, the belly in. As we inhale, imagine that you're pushing your mat back behind you. As you slide your chest forward, and we're gonna come into like an itty bitty baby cobra here. So finding the range that works for you. Little cobra check today. We can hover our hands off the mat using the strength of our back muscles to hold us up. And then gently rest your hands back down, creating length through the low back, moving this more into the middle and upper part of the back. And then we'll gently release, resting your cheek back down on the floor. So just let yourself settle back in for a breath or two. And we'll add on to that. So if baby cobra felt like it was a comfortable posture for you and that's where you'd like to stay, by all means, stay there. But if you'd like to add another layer, as we inhale, again, imagine you're pushing your mat back, sliding your chest forward and up. And then this time, if we choose, we can float the toes off the floor. Now, I don't want you to think about trying to lift really high here. Instead, I want you to think about lengthening through the spine and then floating up. So we're, we've got that intention of lengthening first today. And then gently. We may choose to keep the hands right there. Back. Gently drawing in, floating up, 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 flying locust. Again, if that feels like too much for your back, feel free to gently place the hands back down. You don't need to lift the toes. And. To come into one of the earlier variations. If we'd like to though, we're gonna try upward facing dog. Shoulders drawing down the back. Again, hands come about chest level. Hug your elbows and hiking the shoulders up. Let's slide those shoulders down. Pause in and we'll begin by inhaling. Again, imagine you're pushing your mat back behind you, floating your chest up, up, up. So see if you can't extend a little bit more into that middle and upper back. Now, should you choose, we'll gently begin to press the palms into the floor and straighten the arms. Now I want you to think here about keeping your shoulders over the crease line of your wrists. And again, it's as if you're sliding your body forward between your arms, shoulders draw down the back. If you're feeling a little crazy today, activating through the thighs, lifting the kneecaps. Again, if that's too much, revisit one of the earlier variations. Now from here, gently return the knees to the floor. Push through all fours, sending our hips back into extended child's pose. Let yourself relax here. So we've just done a lot of work for that low back. Let's allow ourselves the opportunity to relax and reset here.
walking our hands in. Let's shift ourselves around. <coughs> Excuse me, so that we're finding a comfortable seated position on our mat. Sitting up nice and tall, drawing our hands together at heart center. Light within me honors and salutes the light within you today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this low back strengthening practice. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for our next yoga practice. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye.